Welcome back to another session in the series of Calypso Strums. Uh, we've had six so far, and today we're going to do number seven, and it's called the Cowbell Strum. Now the Cowbell Strum, it comes from the engine room in the steel band. I'll tell you a bit about that later. But uh, in the meantime, pour yourselves a drink and um, get busy. These strums are just a gateway, a doorway to get into Calypso, so you can get a, a sense of what the genre, the language of the genre, the musical language, and the guitar is a great way to, to capture the different rhythms that make up this vocabulary of, of rhythms that Calypso music is all about. So whether it's the purists or the tourist, we fill in as much as we can to give you the real um, feel of the, the genre and how to play. So here we go, get your guitar tune up. If you haven't done so, I just tune mine up and you have a, an exercise you can do to warm up your, um, your fingers. We did it um, open, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, open, four, three, two, one, two, three, four. Dee, 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 and you do that all along the strings. Four string, two, one, two, three, four, third string. Sounds like some kind of barbershop quartet uh, line, but anyway, you get the uh, the nice two bar frizz. And the first string so that warms up all your fingers so you can you know get to play a little better and a little more agile you can also try it on the second position which is the next four frets and you approach it the same way open open one two three four open one two three four three two one open Four, three, two, one, two, three, four, and so on. So the cowbell strum, it's a medium up-tempo kind of strum, and you can use it for all kinds of music. But in Calypso in particular, you have a, a, a times when you want to create a sense of drama or tension. And um, this is a great pattern that you can play. It captures that rhythm like I say, of the cowbell in the steel band's engine room, that's the percussion ensemble that accompanies the steel band. I'll tell you a bit about it later, but let's get right into the rhythm. If you try, a, let's try it with the G chord, a simple G open chord. And um, remember, you're strumming. You can use it for, like I said, pop or folk, country and western, even bluegrass music. It sounds really good with acoustic guitar open strings. It's a sustained kind of thing you're playing. It's not so much dampened or flattened uh, or stopped notes. And like all the others, you're fanning. You're fanning with your strumming hand. It's a two, two count, cut time, two, two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and so on. And, um, you know, within that you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the next pulse that comes up if you double the rate. And then the fanning rate, which is the eights. One, two, 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 one, two. Cowbell pattern, what you're doing is ticky 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 ticky. It's too low, too high, so it has that symmetry. You might find it quite simple, but it's actually quite hard to capture on a guitar strumming to get the too low pulse and the too high. So 
you have to as you strum so I'm just sweeping sweeping the bottom strings bottom bottom top bottom top bottom top say it's a, to create tension that's the the um the it's a kind of rhythm that it's from that whole vocabulary of trance rhythms and this came into the steel band from the orisha tradition in trinidad the shango tradition uh yoruba deities and yoruba religion ofa and it's the voice of the cowbell and sometimes the scrapers that create this effect, repetitive, fast pitched or fast paced, a high pitched type rhythm that can induce a type of trance, or in this case, in the case of the Orisha uh, tradition, the, the rhythms are used to create a religious possession. And, uh, but those trance rhythms that they use in the African traditions is incorporated into the steel band through the iron and the Cowbell and the scrapers. Repetitive, high pitched type rhythms. Just like a strobe light would um, kind of disorient you or put you into an altered state, these rhythms do the same thing but in a different way. So that's the idea. Try it and see. Kitten Calypso also does something similar on the hi hat. Sukushi, Sukushi, they call it Sukushi or Super Tapa, Super Tapa, and it's the same idea. Presentational strum because it focuses you on the melody, in this case, a very interesting melody in Meme. That's by Sparrow, by the way, of course. Slinger Francisco from 1960. <clears throat> and then you'll have, um, I remember there was a guy from Barbados called the Mighty Jerry, and he was one of the best singer strummers of guitar strummers and play, you know, accompany himself. And a lot of Calypsonians don't, they just sing. But he accompanied himself and um, had that wonderful even. Mama don't want the whiskey, makes it too frisky. Mama don't want the whiskey, makes it too frisky. Oh, me mama don't want no whiskey Cause it makes her too damn frisky All she wants is candy brandy all the time Mama went to bed last night, she was a feeling cool 
mama went to bed last night, she was a feeling cool. Oh, me mama went to bed last night, she was a feeling C O L D. All she wants is candy, brandy all the time. Yeah. Mm, I don't want a gin cause it makes her S I N. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you have that lovely even. Sometimes you can use your, the back of your fingers as well. But I, I find just the, just the fingers work just as well if you, once you perfect the technique. And um, <clears throat> with another, it's used a lot in folk calypso, and especially uh, folk calypsos from Barbados. We use it a lot. Um, Gabby had a song, which he never recorded, or if he did, I'm not aware of it. Uh, back in the mid or late 70s, he wrote. John Brown used to walk down at the plantation for one shilling, one shilling. John Brown used to walk down at the plantation for one shilling, one shilling. Times change. More money, more money, more money. Times change again, they mechanize the industry. And then them turn around and chase we John Brown. Then tell him, lay down, lay down, lay down. I love you, ax and ho. Just lay down, lay down, lay down. I love you, ax and ho. Just lay down, lay down. They don't all love you, Axel. Oh, we just don't want you no more. We just don't want you no more. John Brown tell the man, he got a wife and children. Hungry children. Yeah, but John Brown tell the man, he got a wife and children. Hungry children. Starving children. Man said, John, it's your problem, your problem, your problem. Don't you ever expect me to solve them? And I don't care what you say, man, you done no walking here. I tell you, lay down, lay down, lay down, I love you, wax and ho, just lay down, lay down, lay down, I love you, wax and ho, just lay down. They don't, they don't all love you, wax and ho. We just don't want you no more. We just don't want you no more. John Brown, lay them down. Lay them down. Yeah. So you got your good, nice cowbell strum into your repertoire now. You can add that to all the others, the banana strum. <clears throat> the postman, the terminus strum, the calendar, the congo, the latin strum, and now the cowbell. So grab your drink again and fire one with me. I've got some soursop. Soursop is a lovely fruit, very distinctive taste, but sometimes you need to maybe mix it with lemonade or something to tone it down a bit. But it's, it's a lovely and very refreshing and delicious sour sop and it's not sour at all actually marla what do you think <laughs> my girl here chilling out <laughs> so that's it for today hope you can come back check out the other rhythms and um drop me a line let me know what you think oh by the way before i forget someone was asking about this um, picture that was kind of half seen in the back of one of my earlier videos. And um, it's a photograph by Jenny Babulal, a good friend of mine, a Trinidadian photographer and mass artist. She designs costumes, she does all kind of creative stuff, but her photography, in particular, the photographs of children's carnivals is just to die for. So, that's our, our story for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the session. 
give me a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time when we come back with the American or Universal type Calypso rhythm. This is something that is kind of considered the Calypso rhythm by everyone else outside the Caribbean. And uh, I also have a Creole or a Zouk kind of rhythm and a Kwekwe or Guyanese Calypso rhythm that I want to share with you. And I look forward to, to that opportunity. You take care, stay safe, and keep on strumming. Mm -hmm.